I am D Collins, Pastor D, Dunamis D, just D. And I want to thank you for tuning in to Dunamis Woman today because we have nuggets for you that is strictly based upon the kingdom. The kingdom, it's all about the kingdom. I can't say it enough. I can't stress it enough. You're going to hear it. You're going to hear it. You're going to hear it because it's all about the kingdom. And one thing the kingdom requires, it requires the truth. The truth will make you free. So I want you to get a pen, get a paper, and I want you to intensely listen because the word of truth will set you free. And I'm going to teach you because it's all about the kingdom. You, me, we're in a relationship. And I want you to stay tuned because after this teaching, I'm going to come back and I'm going to engage with you. I'm Pastor D and I'm looking forward to you. Well, welcome to Dunamis Woman today. I am Pastor D and I am here because I am so excited because I'm always excited about being with you. Oh man, the kingdom, the kingdom, the kingdom, mm -hmm. Michelle, the mm -hmm. kingdom, it's all about the kingdom. But we have to understand the principles of the kingdom in order to, in order to get it right. And it's all stemmed from leadership. Mm -hmm. It's all stemmed from leadership. So I am here, I don't know if they've seen you in a while, Michelle, co-host of the show, Michelle Obasi. Nice to be here with you all. I'm being formal like I got a little education about myself. But we are honestly talking about women yeah. in leadership. Women in leadership. Yes. And I don't know if you were privileged to see the show where I talked about women in leadership. It did a teaching mm -hmm. about leadership and how women are on the rise. Mm -hmm. um, and not just because, oh, we have been so uh, well to do, mm -hmm. so successful. We have our careers now, you know, but there's a message in women you know, and it does not negate our men. Um, in this era of time, we're not here to thrive so we could make them become subject to us. Mm -hmm. But God is using us in order to bring them to a place. Correct. Oh my God, thank you. Bring mm -hmm. them to a place that they have never been because of the things that men are attacked for. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have to be strategic as women. Correct. And that's what the leadership is about. So last week I was talking about women in leadership and giving the teaching and, mm -hmm. um, and why leadership is so important. And we have to be co uh, cultivated. But most of all, we have to be qualified. Mm -hmm. you know, and there's a qualification process uh, for the kingdom. And yet that's your character. That's your mm -hmm. proven. That's your testing. That's your trying that you have to go through, you know, mm -hmm. and we often uh, quote the scripture, Romans 12, 2, which states, and be not conformed to this world, yeah. but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And we usually stop there, mm -hmm. you know, but it also go on to say that you may prove the acceptable will of God for your life. Mm -hmm. So that renewing of the mind and how our minds of women have been renewed, it has to be proven. Okay. And it has to be proven through testing, through trying. And I don't know how we can be proven unless it's through relationships with men. And that's because honestly, mm -hmm. without it, we become dominant. Mm -hmm. You know, we're talking about le women in leadership, but mm -hmm. it's not from a standpoint of being dominant or dominating no. or domineering over a man. It's, it's leadership. It's taking our rightful place, but there's order that must abound. And not... And, and, and real talk, not just saying we don't need them anymore, you know, we because we have them. been damaged, uh, which goes back to even maybe the father or, or the, the, the men in our lives, mm -hmm. which oftentimes it goes back to that. Um, and now it's it, lesbianism is on the rise, mm -hmm. you know, uh, which totally say I don't need you as a man, right. you know, uh, because a woman can fulfill my needs, you know. So, you know, that is totally distorted, mm -hmm. you know, uh, totally messed up. Uh, but we're not here to talk about that at this, at this juncture. But it just goes to point how it's becoming so prevalent because the women have been damaging their emotions so severely that now we can say, man, I don't even need you for nothing. You know, uh, yeah. women, woman to woman is raising their children. Woman to woman is saying I can fulfill one another. And that totally is the ultimate of saying, well, I don't need the real awesome men anymore. Sure. You know, but now we want to bring back the order by speaking some truth mm -hmm. because we do need them, uh, not just as a cohort or not just as a friend, you know, but we need them in their proper position. We really do. And so that's when I was talking about uh, a, a powerful woman and her name is Zipporah, mm -hmm. you know, and I didn't get a chance to get in depth with it, you know, but we want to talk about it t today, Michelle, mm -hmm. you know, uh, because there's a lot of powerful women uh, that th this is not just a history book, you mm -hmm. know, uh, where it's a, it's a fantasy. It did not happen, but this is where history is coming alive again. Correct. You know, and you know, you're a historian. Yeah. You know? yes. So let's talk about Zipporah. 
um, and just recap. Give me your sentiments. You know, you know if, talk about it. Before I can talk about Zipporah, I have to talk about just where she was. Mm -hmm. You know, she was a, they said a Midianite woman, but she had a father. She had sisters. She had, she was, she had a father. And Jethro so was her father. Mm -hmm. Jethro was she, her Jethro father. Jethro was her father. He was a father. priest. Mm -hmm. So he was a man mm -hmm. of, of stature within mm -hmm. this area. And uh, before I can talk about her, she was given to Moses. Mm -hmm. And Moses was had just come out of uh, Egypt, ran away from Egypt. He was a broken man. And he had he, murdered somebody. He had murdered somebody. Mm -hmm. He was confused. Mm -hmm. uh, he was in hiding. And he went on the run. And he went on the run. Mm -hmm. And he ran into this this place. Which is Jethro's. With his Jeth where Jethro was mm -hmm. with his daughter. Correct. And in that, Zipporah became his wife. Correct. So Zipporah really was given to this man to help restore him, whether yeah. she knew her role or not. Or not. That's right. That was her purpose at that particular to time. To bring healing. To bring healing to, to this a broken, great man. He was a great man, but he was a broken man. He was a man broken man at that call point, on his with life. With a call on his life. That's right. So before we can talk about that, we got to know the backdrop of just Correct. her life. Correct. So Zipporah was just as powerful as Moses because through her, mm -hmm. healing came place. Mm -hmm. But with with Zipporah, I don't know what it was like back then. I could only imagine. But mm -hmm. she still had a father. Yes. She wasn't out there by herself. Correct. She wasn't a woman who did not have an inheritance. She had all of that. So she had protection. She yes. was provided She for. had the covering. So, you know, she was one of those women we talked about who had the father in their lives and, and you know, there wasn't the necessarily the rejection and the abandonment. Mm -hmm. She had the love. Okay, so, so let's just take it uh, from a perspective of where we are today mm -hmm. because no matter where we are, certain things just don't change, and that's principles. Exactly. You know, the law of gravity, the law of reciprocity, and a lot of laws are not going to change, you Correct. know, because our system have changed mm -hmm. and the society's views have changed. Right. So in other words, based upon what you're saying, she was given to this broken man mm -hmm. by her father. By her father. And he murdered a man, which mm -hmm. put him on the run. Mm -hmm. He ran into his destiny. Mm -hmm taken and been given, not taken, but have been given a wife mm -hmm. from a daughter who had a covering from her father Correct. to bring him healing and restoration. And in that point of him going through that process, that's when God spoke to him and told him about his calling of what he was called to do. Exactly. He didn't even realize what he was called to do until he came to that place. And that's when, we, when he was in that land with Jethro mm -hmm. and given Sephora, he went by this bush and the bush starts speaking out mm -hmm, to him. It was mm -hmm. God speaking out through this bush mm -hmm. to him to say, Moses, this is what I've called you to do. Free my people. Correct. Oftentimes we think the man's supposed to have the calling and then get the woman, which in the first beginning in Genesis, it did take that much. Mm -hmm. He said, I'll give you a help me because I gave you all this. So now exactly. I got to give you a help me. But because the order has been broken. Mm -hmm. Now the restoration has to take place and where we're looking for a man to do it to us, give us healing. Mm -hmm. God is using us to bring healing to them. Exactly. But how can we bring healing to them when we're still damaged by our fathers? Correct. That that's that's powerful. That is powerful. That's why healing of the daughters it's, is so it's important so key. because now he want to use us in a deeper way because our men are broken. Mm -hmm. And Zipporah because she had that covering she had the confidence. And Many a, of us who don't have our fathers, we lack that confidence. We lack so that confidence. When that broken man comes to us, we don't have the confidence to know that we have the healing and that power. We have the power. And real talk on in today's society. Mm -hmm. A broken man is trying to find that in the heart of a woman. Mm -hmm. But because her heart is broken, a broken woman keeps bruising a broken man exactly. and a broken man ain't gonna take that from a broken woman and so now we keep bruising one hurt another people, and hurt, hurt people. people hurt people mm -hmm. and now there's another level of pain that we're lacking the trust mm -hmm. in a relationship because we can't do it by ourselves correct we can't do it by ourselves so this woman was very strategic very strategic she, she was Go ahead. She, go ahead. She was placed strategically in Moses' Because she had the mind of her father. She had the mind of her father. She had the that's mind the of her father. That's the importance, and it, that's what the, the scripture shows. It. Like I said, it's not mm -hmm. just a story. No. This is order. This is order. And she had the heart of her father. Mm -hmm. She had the mind of her father. Mm -hmm. So she was able to uh, receive what Moses was able to give in order for him to be received. And that talks to mm -hmm. what we're talking about, about receiving and mm -hmm. giving mm -hmm. and, and different things. She had the strategy skills and timing. So realistically... All daughters should have the mind of their father. And what we're trying to do in this era of time is have the mind of our heavenly father. And we don't even know what it is to have the mind of an earthly father who should be connected with the heavenly father. And so now we're saying, father, I want to do your will. But when he tell us to really do his will is to be 
silent, to be tender, to mm -hmm, be loving, mm -hmm. to be kind, in spite of what we're getting, I can't do that. See, one thing you told us in emotional, uh, we were in Leadership Institute, mm -hmm. and one thing you told us, religion will tell you, uh, you know, we want to serve God and God only. Mm -hmm. I'm paraphrasing, mm -hmm. yes, but really it's to, we are to be serving man, you know, one mm -hmm. another mm -hmm. in a mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. But religion will tell you, no, 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 only only your heavenly father in mm -hmm. which you would serve. Mm -hmm. But in, in, in this aspect, Jethro was a, a priest. Correct. So he was already in the presence of God. Yes. So she wasn't, it wasn't just her heavenly father, she was serving Jephro. Who had the mind. Who had the mind. Who had the mind of, of heavenly his heavenly father. father. So Correct. he imparted that into his daughter, mm -hmm. and then she knew how to, to restore that, that Correct. broken man. Correct, Correct. Who, through her love and her tenderness, mm -hmm. he was in the presence of God himself. He Remember, was in, he was in Egypt. They didn't serve. They, they served didn't serve. Rob, they yeah, served Rob. Yeah, they yeah, served yeah. Shabbat. He was, he was, he was miserable. Served. He was because he, Egypt literally means misery. Mm -hmm. And so he was in a place of misery. Mm -hmm. Do you, can you imagine what, how misery can play on your mind? That's that Hittite. That's that despair. Because in you, mm -hmm. Moses knew it was something different about him. Yes. So mm -hmm. many of us people, we know it's something different. Mm -hmm. We, God is just in us. He knows and something is we, calling and it's him. something that's mm -hmm. calling us. And it was something agonizing. That's why he killed the guy. Yeah, right. You know, it was a, it was a, he knew it was wrong. Mm -hmm. He knew something wasn't right. But going back to this, going to the running away to this, to this place mm -hmm. and finding this woman uh, and, and being given to this woman who already had the mind of a father, she helped usher him to his destiny so that he could get in the presence of God. See, a healed Correct. woman puts the man in the presence of by God. By knowing how to act, by exactly. knowing how to move, by knowing how to execute in its proper timing. timing. Wow. We're going to come right back and we're going to mm -hmm. talk about that, Michelle. But we want you to listen to this commercial because just what we're talking about, we need your partnership. We need your partnership to go on the move. We need your partnership to come and join forces with us. We need your partnership because women must come together in this era of time to do and to execute mm -hmm. according to how our Heavenly Father is commanding us. I'm Pastor D. I'll be right back. Allow me some time to talk to you about Kingdom Partnership. I am a member of Dunamis Woman Ram International Ministries. We admonish each and every one of you to become a kingdom partner. It's about truth as not concealed. Do you know your purpose? Do you know anything about kingdom living? We live in the world, but we should not be of the world. The kingdom partnership is actually just opening you up to a new level of truth, opening you up to doors, opening you up to the, the good news and the gospel of Jesus Christ his message, his ministry. We model that here at our ministry. And with our Kingdom Partnership, you will receive a coaching session for 30 minutes with the pastor, Pastor D, or with one of us in the ministry. In addition to that, you will receive a book, How to Pray with Power on Purpose. It's not just about prayer, but it's about praying with power and it's about praying with purpose, with specificity for your life. That's what the Kingdom Partnership gives you. It actually allows you to understand who you were made to be, not who you've become, not who the world has told you, and not what you think the world wants to see, but who did God call you to be? Kingdom-minded citizen. And that's what we ask you to partner with us in to know who you are. It's not about us. It's not about what we receive, but it's about the truth that we're offering and we're able to give you as a partner. I thank you in advance for visiting our website, www.dunamis-woman.com. I thank you in advance for calling 1-855-BE-DUNAMIS. Become a partner. Understand your citizenship. You are a son and a daughter at the table, let's start living who we really are as kingdom citizens. Through kingdom partnership, I ask you to join Dunamis Woman Ram International Ministries. Thank you, and I look forward to hearing from you. Well, there you have it, and we thank you in advance for becoming a partner right here with Dunamis Woman and Ram International Ministries. Michelle, we're going to get right back into it because, you know, we talked about the timing, mm -hmm. you know, of understanding how to execute, mm -hmm. you know, and many of us 
uh, as women is trying to, first of all, we're nagging a man, go to church mm -hmm. too much, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, we're, we're trying to drag them mm -hmm. into the presence of God. Come on, go here. And the main thing you have to do in, in, for strategy, mm -hmm. you know, is to first of all, sit back and be confident, like you were saying, on the woman who you are. Correct. You know, confident that, yes, I might not be in the presence of my earthly father because my earthly father literally is deceased, mm -hmm. you know, which now God's put me in the presence of a spiritual father. He puts me in the presence of my heavenly father. But there is a natural spiritual mm -hmm. father representing the spirit. Uh, sp uh, spiritual father, the spiritual father representing the natural father, mm -hmm. you know, from his physical presence, that I may even be covered to do the order, to do the things that my heavenly father want me to do because order is there, mm -hmm. the, if that makes sense. It does. You know, so Pora was a woman that understood because she was emotionally secure. She's very secure, yeah. And many of us as women, because that's out of order and even not just to say, okay, you can say my father is there, mm -hmm. but even with your mother not being there, there's certain things that we just have not acquired to know how to gracefully you understand what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Administer what God wants us to do. Exactly. You know, I, I, I have my spiritually father and my, my natural mother is actually deceased. But because I saw my natural mother, she, she, she didn't teach me do this, do that. I saw her gracefully execute. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I saw her gracefully maneuver. I saw mm -hmm. her gracefully do things. Mm -hmm. And I acquired that skill mm -hmm. by my mother imparting into my life. And what my mother could not do, God has always given me spiritual mothers Correct. according to the word mm -hmm. of God. So with Zipporah understanding that, she knew how to maneuver mm -hmm. when God wanted to kill mm -hmm. Moses. There's no explanation for it. Now the reason why he wanted to kill him because there was a tradition that he did not keep there's some things that you have to do because you know to do it because it's right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not matter what you believe, it's right. Right, right. He did not get circumcised, and it was right to do. Mm, Moses did. Moses did. Okay. And it was right to do. Mm -hmm. How many men in this era of time know what's right to do, but they but just they won't do, do it? it. Mm -hmm. Circumcision was just a, a, a natural thing to show how the cutting of the foreskin off of the penis is that your the skin was clear that it could, I'm just going to use the term, think. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No, it's no clutter. The head. The, yeah. the head. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You are the head. And that has to be, yeah. you have to be sharpened. You have to be cut. You have mm -hmm. to be that. Mm -hmm. And and, the, and men nowadays are standing up so proud within themselves. And, and we know that from relationship that they don't want to be cut from the word of God. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. word of God will circumcise your heart. Yeah. The word of God is a two-edged sword, mm -hmm. cutting, piercing. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And when that word cut, many men know what to do, which is right to do from their upbringing, mm -hmm. from the way they was raised, from what was instilled with them. Mm -hmm. They have a background and a foundation that was laid mm -hmm. based upon church that they went to. And they know what to do. And they know they have calls on their life to free some people like Moses, mm -hmm. but they don't want to do what's right. Correct. And now we as women like Zipporah's got to know how to stand in the gap. Exactly. And and she wasn't from his background. No. You know what I'm saying? And she, like her mm. father, you know, knew, had raised her and imparted mm -hmm. into her. Mm -hmm. So she really undergirded. She stood in the gap. She stood in the gap. She actually protected him. She knew how to strategically move because she knew even being in the household that circumcision was very important. Mm -hmm. And although she, she took the, the, the and, and, and cut the foreskin of her own son mm -hmm. and put it right there on the genitals, you know, the Bible talk about it laying at his feet, but the, it, it really is used as a euphemism to say the feet is representing the private body parts. Mm -hmm. So for her husband, she knew where to place it. Mm -hmm. and, and what am I saying now? We as women like Zipporah, as a wife, we got to know how to intercede. It's very important. Not just from prayer, but intercede from our posture, mm -hmm. intercede by mm -hmm. gracefully executing, intercede by maintaining who we are, mm -hmm. you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, with confidence. With confidence. You know, everything doesn't have to be spoken about. The power of a silent the woman. The power of a she silent didn't woman. Say a word. She, she didn't, didn't say, say a word. She didn't say, my, she, she said, she can, I, can I do this? She, didn't, she, she didn't just, no boom. Question. She executed. 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 Mm -hmm. Now, the thing about it is that it spared his life. Most definitely. It and spared was, his he life. he was able to, at that point, go and continue to do the work in which he was called to be. She knew 
the calling on his life. He knew the calling on his life, but whether or not he was going to do it to the totality because he had a little disobedience. He did. That went on. It was a and major. Even in it that, was a major thing. I know. It was it a major. Was a major, major. Thing. It was but a to major him, thing. It was. It was small. It was small. But to her, she already knew. But can you imagine how can God call you and ready to kill you at the same time? I don't never want to be in that predicament. People, but that's real talk. That is real. Many people think because I'm fulfilling the calling mm -hmm. that there's something more that I'm not doing that's right. That if it doesn't take place, a killing will take place. Mm -hmm. But that man who's in the presence of a real awesome, uh, of a dunamis woman, have to know how to execute to spare his life. Mm -hmm. So you have to, and you have to actually... Zipporah was not a selfish woman. And she was not selfish. So actually, she knew the things about mm -hmm. him. She observed him. She... She knew he was stubborn. She knew he was stubborn. She knew he was she stubborn. She knew his, his ins and his outs. And that's where communication comes in. That's where observation comes in. And that's, but where, that's, where, that's where just being a woman that know her posture. Mm -hmm. But in the time of critical time, she know how to step in. See, oftentimes we want to step in as women um, all the time. If you just sit back mm -hmm. and just let go, as we say, and let God. Mm -hmm. But when God is moving in. See, because God going to do what he's going to do with his men. Mm -hmm. Just like you was talking about, as I taught, which is revelatory, um, in, in School of Life Leadership Institute, we always say, he my man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. No. Man belongs to God. Correct. Woman belongs to man. Mm -hmm. Let me say something. No woman got a man. Because even if you got a man, why he doing stuff that he do? He, a man going to do what he want to do. Correct. A man going to go where he want to go. A, a stubborn man going to do it no matter what. A man know he got a... Why? A man know you got a wife at home and you still going out there with somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know you got a woman in your life and you still out there befriending somebody else, mm -hmm. luring them, seducing Correct. them. Mm -hmm. So you can't get caught up in worrying about all this stuff. You can't get an emotional frenzy mm -hmm. because a man going to do what he have what he wants to do because he's stubborn and he's prideful. But a prideful man, the best thing a woman can do, a powerful woman, is give him back to God. Mm -hmm. Because first of all, he don't belong to me in the first place. Correct. He only was given to me for healing to take place in his soul. And if he's too crazy to recognize that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's his loss and somebody else's gain. That's just from a practical Correct. standpoint. See, that's where the peace come in. Mm -hmm. But Zipporah understood her purpose for being in, in his life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He needed not only Jeffro, but he needed that wife. He did. And he she needed knew that how wife. To give him back to and God. she knew how to give him back to God. She really did. But at the time when God was finna come and slay him, because she gave him back to God, she stepped in. Mm -hmm. And she, she didn't say, Well, what do I do, God? She knew exactly what to do. Mm -hmm. And because she knew exactly what to do, she knew what he was where he was messing up. Now, how often do we know where our men are messing up? Mm -hmm. And can you as a woman, a powerful woman, just be still? Hmm. And you hear crickets. <laughs> you Be hear still. Crickets. Yeah. And, and that's not easy. Don't get it's me. It's not. It takes a level of humility. It and, takes a level of confidence. But what it takes is takes women together mm -hmm. saying. You can't do it by yourself. You can't do it by yourself. Where I'm weak that day, you're strong. Mm -hmm. Where I'm strong that day, you're weak. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why I say let them that are strong bear the infirmities of the weak. Mm -hmm. You know. And we try to do it by and we try to do it by ourselves and you can't. But the 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 fact of the matter or the truth of the matter, shall I say, when David said, Be still and know mm -hmm. that I am God, when he when he spoke to that to David, be still. David said, He he said, Be still. The Lord said, Be still mm -hmm. and know that I am God. So that still, S T I L L means Rapha, the healer. Mm -hmm. Be Rapha. Mm -hmm. Be the be healer and know that I am God. Be healed and know mm -hmm, that I am God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stop. Don't, don't, you ain't got to fight for yourself, David. You ain't got to move for yourself. And that's why we as women, we have to be still and know that he is God because our men need healing. Remember, Moses yeah. was broken. He was very broken. He was broken. He but if I'm not stable and I'm not healed, I'm going to bring more damages mm -hmm. to him as opposed to knowing how to hear the sound, know how to execute. But it's just a matter of time. Yeah. That's why you got to be still because you got to be confident. He needs you. Woman of power, dunamis woman, mm -hmm. I am Pastor D, and I'm speaking directly to you. Be still and know that he is God, but you can't do it by yourself. We as women most, must come together, and in women leadership, let me tell you something, that's the most difficult task that God mm -hmm. has given me, mm -hmm. but I'm not depending on myself, I'm depending on him, because if he said it, he understands that it's a necessity and it will happen. Yes. So I want you to come forth. Call us at one be dunamis because I need you, you need me. And as we come together, I promise you, because God said it and it's an announcement that he's going to make in the earth, 
our men, yeah. real awesome men, will be healed. Whether it's your brother, whether it's your husband, whether it's your son, whether it's your nephew. We as women got to be confident. We want them, but they need us. I'm Pastor D. Yes, Look Lord. forward to talking with you. God bless you. Hi, I'm Arielle, and I know that you have been blessed by that taping of the healing of our daughters. And I'm coming to you as Dee's youngest daughter. And I have been going through my healing process probably since I was first born. But being 25, the healing process is really a tender process that really is important for you and important for me to even understand who I am, not who my parent created me to be, not who my father wanted me to be, but who God called me to be. And I am truly getting fulfilled by the Kingdom Leadership and Coaching Institute and taking that out into the community, talking to our youth, talking to young women and young men who don't have their mothers, who don't have their natural fathers, who don't even have that relationship with their spiritual fathers. So this is so important. I want you to continue to join this movement with us. Contact us. Visit us on Facebook. You can just type in Dunamis Woman. Search us on YouTube. Keep looking at all those tapings. Get fulfilled because this is the true, true purpose and calling for your life. And I know that you will be immensely blessed by the knowledge and the teachings and the word that's going to be used in your life, but not just for you, but for younger generations. Whether you have kids, whether you have cousins, whether you have nieces, this is something that our generation necessarily needs in their life. So I invite you to search us on Twitter, Instagram, if you're on social media. Visit our websites at dunamis-woman.com. Visit Dee's website at dspeaksyouthink.com. Invite her to your church. Just because we're Kingdom Leadership and Coaching Institute, we are on the movement. So come, have her come to your women's ministry. Have her come speak to your men's ministry. Have her come fulfill your home. Wherever you are, I want you to join us on this movement. So I want to thank you and I pray that you will start your healing process as God's daughter and that you will become the woman that you have always wanted to become and the woman that God knows that you can become. So I thank you and I look forward to seeing you and stay blessed. Oh, man.